What's up, YouTube? It's David Escamilla. Thank you guys for tuning back in to my channel. Today, we're gonna be doing a self-cut video. My goal for this video is just to try to explain to you guys the best way that you guys can cut your own hair from home. I did a low fade and a beard fade on myself. You know, the, the sides of my beard is probably like a three guard. The sides of my hair probably can be as long as an eight. But I do a low fade and I try to keep the, the parietal ridge area dark. So I try to keep it as low as I can. And for the beard, you just want to make sure you go ahead and comb out your beard in the direction that you want it to grow. I usually comb my beard downwards because I like it to grow towards my jawline. I don't like it to grow towards my lips or anything. So just go ahead and grab your machine and line it up and you know try your best i know you guys don't have the equipment like i do at home but if you guys do have a reg like even a peanut that you guys can get like at for at walmart for like 20 bucks i'm not sure if it's 20 bucks but you know you guys can get a pretty good quality liners at your local you know walmart or ross just try it out guys i know times are tough right now we're not able to go outside our homes to get haircuts so if you guys do have the opportunity to go buy equipment i'd say go for it guys we got nothing to lose so to start off the beard fade i have a three guard on the side so you typically if you have like a three guard or a two guard on the sides i would say start with a number a half a number lower so i started with a two and a half and I just started uh, kind of just hitting it on the sides really quick, just really quick. So then after we use a two guard, we wanna grab our 1.5 guard, just kind of hit it a little bit lower now. So we're maybe like three fingers below our sideburn area with the one and a half. Then I'm gonna go in about a finger's length and kind of hit it with, a, with my wall with the lever open and just kind of start fading out the sideburn so I can make sure that it's gonna connect since I am doing a low fade, I wanna keep everything connected. So that's the reason why I go in with my lever open. So here, I'm just gonna go a tad bit higher. Now I have the one guard. I'm closing my, my lever. And as I go higher into the beard, I'm opening up the lever. So as I keep opening up the lever, it means that the machine gets less sharper and it's able to cut less hair. So that's why I go deeper into the beard. Here, I'm, I have the half guard and I'm going closed to open. So I'm closing the lever and I keep on going higher into the beard so I can just finish the blend of my beard so I can go into the stash. So the next thing is you want to just grab your trimmer and just baby tap the, the hairs on your stash. You know, you don't want to make your stash skinny to the point where you're going to have to shave off your whole mustache or your whole beard. So, I mean, I've done that before so many times, guys. So just learn from me. Just keep be conservative on the stash. So the next thing is you want to line up the sides of your beard. I dry shaved. I, I regret dry shaving because I did irritate my skin at the end of the video. So just grab some uh, some shaving cream, guys, and just put your your uh, let your wrist do all the work. You know, put it at a 45 degree angle and just kind of hit it on the sides. You don't have to scrape your skin, guys. It's just a smooth motion with your wrist. Let the blade do all the work. But I do have sensitive skin, guys. That's why I irritated my skin. But it just makes it look a lot crispier when you do it with the dry shave, like I usually do. So that's the beard. I finished the beard. I look pretty presentable at that at this point right here, but I was like, dude, I need to cut the sides. So first things first, guys, I'm gonna use my magic clip with the lever closed, and we're gonna set our first guideline. So make sure you guys' clippers are properly adjusted in this area. You know, that your machine is a lot sharper when it's flipped upside down. So make sure you guys don't nick yourself, you don't cut yourself. So we're doing our guideline. It's gonna be a low fade. So it's gonna be about a finger thick from the sides and we wanna dip it back towards the back of our occipital bone. The occipital bone is just the part of your uh, that bone in the back of your head that protrudes. You can even touch it and feel it right now. You know, it's just like, it's 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 just round and just you just wanna stop at that point. You don't wanna go no higher than your occipital bone. So we're gonna just cut the bulk off real quick and we're gonna repeat the same method on the other side. So after setting our first guideline with the lever closed, we're gonna go ahead and open up our lever and set our second guideline about a finger's length of thickness. 
and we're gonna do that on one side first. I'm gonna blend out that line, then I'm gonna do the other guideline on the other side and blend out that line too. So I work on one side of the head first, and then I blend the other side. So I tried my best to get the best angle so I can show you guys how to erase the first guideline. All you gotta do is close your lever, baby tap the beginning of the guideline, and as you go higher into your guideline, you just wanna open up the lever a little bit by a little bit until you end up with the lever fully open. So that's just the close to open method that I use on mostly a lot of my tutorials and I do it on myself. So just try it out guys, I know that I didn't get the best angle. To me, it's still kind of hard for me to cut my own hair to this day. So just keep practicing guys. And as long as you guys are able to erase the guidelines, that's all that matters. So the next couple steps are just gonna be dedicated to building the foundation of my fade, which means that after I'm done, you know, using these higher numbers on the sides, I'm just gonna go straight into blending. You know, I'm using the three guard to kind of just, if you have like, let's say a five guard on the sides, you might just wanna hit it with the four guard and the three guard. So just to create the base, if you have a size eight, you might have to hit it with a size six, flicking out towards the sides. Right here on the sides of my hair, I know how long it, it is, so I just use a three guard. So depending on your situation, you might have to use a higher number. So drop down in the comment section if you guys do need some help. You guys can give me and throw me a scenarios of how usually you guys get your hair cut and maybe I can help you guys out so you guys can go ahead and start your own self cut during this quarantine, during these tough times guys. So drop in the comment section if you do need help. But right now what we're doing in the haircut so far is we're setting our third guideline with the one guard with the lever open. Once we set that guideline, we're gonna go ahead and grab our 1.5 guard and we're gonna start blending up. So we're gonna close the lever and kind of baby tap that line that we created and we're gonna start blending into that three guard that we set for the foundation of our fade. So once we blend the 1.5 guard into the three guard, the next step is to grab your 0.5 guard and we're gonna close the lever as you guys see there and we're gonna baby tap that line that, you get, that we created already. You know, we're gonna blend the 0.5 guard into the 1.5 guard now. So we're gonna do this side of the fade first, and then we're gonna do the other side because it's just gonna cut you a lot of time. You know, you wanna finish the one side of your fade first because you don't wanna be flipping back and forth in between your self cut. You just wanna stay on one side because if you do both sides, it's gonna just take you a longer time. Trust me, I've, ta I've taken over like two hours on my own hair when I used to start cutting my own hair. It just takes a long time. It gets annoying, you get hairs on you, and it's just like you just wanna freaking just get it over with, you know? It, it, it stresses you out. So make sure you stay on one side, and we're gonna keep opening up our lever little by little as we go into the 1.5 guard. After this 0.5 guard, we're gonna add our one guard, and now we're gonna blend our one guard into the 1.5 guard. So what we did before was we grabbed our 0.5 guard and we closed the lever and we slightly opened it a little by little until it was fully open so then we can use the one guard. So as you guys see, we're going from 0.5 to one guard to the 1.5 guard. So you guys see there that I'm moving the lever and as I move the lever, I go a tiny bit higher into the fade. So a good tip for you guys is everybody is gonna have different hair growth. My hair in the back just, it goes in a shit ton of directions. So I have to make sure that I go in the, with the corner of my clippers and it makes it harder for me. But depending on your situation, you might have to use a different technique. So I almost finished the whole fade on the other side. I still had a little bit of more detailing to go. So I was like, you know what? I just wanna go ahead and blend out this side now. So every single step that I mentioned on the, on the other side is the same thing applies. So just repeat the same thing and go through the whole steps so you guys can finalize the other side of your fade now. This is the before guys, I was looking really dusty. 
This is the after. You know, I gave myself a nice clean beard trim, a low fade. It was like a mid low fade. You know, I have a slightly bigger head than most people. So I try to go a little bit higher for the low fades, but that's the ending result guys. I appreciate you guys for tuning in one more time. The next episode, I'm gonna be trying to do a taper, like a mid, mid taper. So let me know guys what tools you guys want me to use. Maybe tools that I can find at Walmart or Ross. But that's all I got for you guys today. I appreciate you guys for watching. Peace.